Hello, this is Cityscape, a regular vodcast featuring people, place, and ideas that impact Livonia. I'm Dan West with the Livonia Chamber of Commerce. Today we will meet a registered acupuncturist who grew his practice over the past decade here in Livonia, and he recently moved into this newer, larger office located on Newburgh near Seven Mile. Aaron Lucky Lee immigrated to Michigan from China and brought with him family history and experiences with acupuncture. As a student at the University of Michigan in 2007, he initially studied economics, but he also began practicing traditional Chinese medicine and took other classes in medicine. Also as a student, he founded the Michigan Alternative Medicine Club, which organized educational events with holistic health practitioners discussing healthy living. He obtained certification in acupuncture from the China Academy of Chinese Medical Sciences in Beijing in 2009. He founded his own practice centered around his nickname, Lucky Flow Acupuncture, which provides treatments for those dealing with chronic pain, to depression, to smoking cessation, and more. We are joined today by Aaron Lucky Lee. Aaron, thank you for joining us today. <laughs> Hi. So. Hi, everyone. <laughs> Aaron, um, can you just give us a quick overture of what exactly is acupuncture and what does it strive to do? Sure. So. Uh, acupuncture goes back, you know, thousands of years ago. So this is very initially by a caveman coming out and he, the story goes, he actually had a back pain, but he fell and tripped and he landed on a rock. And then he found, whoa, okay, I got hit here, my back all of a sudden feeling better. So then that, right, art later became acupuncture as people find out different pressure points in the body is linked to different areas. And then there's further meditation to study okay so there's different pathways of the body so that people can feel the energy flow and uh you know even modern science uh, national institute of health recently did a study acupuncture helps the success mm -hmm. of uh fertility uh, by 40 to 60 percent whether it's fertility support for ivf or just natural conception so there's definitely something to that I think acupuncture is recently taking off in the United States. I'm looking forward to personally to more scientific research and backup. But what acupuncture does is, right, you put different needles of the body. The current scientific understanding is that it releases the chemical within your body to fix the issues that you have. Instead of putting chemicals externally or injected into your body, uh, synthetic chemicals, which in some cases just don't stick. So it sounds like basically you're activating the body's natural healing power with what you're doing. Correct, correct. And just to quick mention here, we're, this is not a place to bash modern medicine or pharmaceuticals. You know, those, those things that some people do feel benefit from that. But what we found is that patients that come here have had a negative or side effect from mm -hmm. uh, medications, pharmaceuticals, because it's synthetic and their body don't stick. Mm -hmm. And sometimes once you take a... a a certain amount, you know, then you have to increase the dose. Mm -hmm. Then what the chemicals are telling your body is that, okay, well, serotonin department, you guys can, can just go off, close on, and go, to a, go on a vacation, right? So then your body stops producing serotonin, then you can't sleep, then you have to rely on the serotonin that you're taking. So what acupuncture does, right, for sleep, for example, uh, we put needles in the wrist, okay, we put needles in the ankle area to help the body re-trigger that serotonin so then you slowly then, you can fall asleep with the medication. And hey, some people are happy stopping there. If I can just sleep, I'll be happy because you know I have so much things to do, got family, work, kids. But right, if you are looking to go a step further, our tagline is helping people declare health independence. And that means mm -hmm. declaring independence from pharmaceutical drugs. Now, Aaron, you grew up in a family where uh, traditional Chinese medicine was very prevalent practice by members of your family. Mm -hmm. um, can you talk a little bit about that history and how did you become so passionate about this practice? Sure, so uh, I wanna acknowledge my mother here. She was an acupuncturist in China as well. And you know, as a woman growing up uh, in China, actually even today, right? Even in the West, uh, as a woman practicing medicine, you don't get the respect that you deserve sometimes. So she's had a hard time securing right, her passion as someone that could truly help others. So then when she came here, uh, right, then she said, oh, wow, you know, this is a place 
where my son will flourish uh, and practice here and help a lot of people. Mm -hmm. So because of that, she was really strict to make sure that she taught everything that she know to me, mm -hmm. uh, right? This means that how do we take from helping patients from what stage and area of their life to become better? Mm -hmm. um, you've been, you've had the practice now for more than a dozen years now. Yeah. And now you're at your third Livonia location, uh, uh, graduating to bigger locations. <laughs> yeah. What do you think has been the key to your growth? So actually, uh, I'm a little bit superstitious. I think uh, my, my lucky, my lucky color is navy blue, and, and uh, our theme here is actually water. And Livonia actually means the ocean. Did you guys know that? I did not know that. Did you know that? And so I looked up in the dictionary, so there was a chiropractor that approached me that said uh, in the beginning, says, okay, would you like to sublease my location? I had an acupuncturist that was here. She's moving to California. Would you like to take over? I said, well, okay, where is it at? I said, Livonia. Okay, I'm gonna look up what Livonia means. It's like ocean. So I, those are the things that I look for to kind of uh, cue me into what I wanna do. Kind of like Neil the Matrix is mm -hmm. looking for a white rabbit, right? Oh, wow, I, I learned that myself today. <laughs> <laughs> I only grew up here and I didn't even know that. So. Hopefully that wasn't too weird for you guys. So, no, okay. no, it's safe. Hey, we're right. here about learning things. So, oh, right, okay. Um, okay. Aaron, yeah. who refers patients to you? So mostly it's other patients, uh, other patients that refer patients to us. Sometimes a specialist uh, could be from, uh, you know, the neurological department, neurologists, fertility doctors refer a lot of patients to us. So, uh, yeah, so those are most of our patients who do fertility, any type of pain, discomfort in the body, chronic or acute, headache, mm -hmm. whatnot, what have you. So, well, Aaron, we wish to thank you for your time today and we wish you continued success with your practice. Okay, yeah, thank you very much. That's all the time we have for Cityscape. We thank you for watching and we'll see you soon.